Afu has been lifted. Ooh, ooh, ah. Wait a minute. Uh, I wonder, is it a good thing or is it a bad thing? So here in Kenya, our curfews have been different. There's a point when we had the seven o'clock, we had the nine o'clock, the ten o'clock, and there are clocks that were not making sense. And considering that we are a country that also do biashara at night, and when I say that, I mean there are people who have their goods that need to be transported and all that. So curfew came in. It's been here for the last one and a half years. And our lovely president lifted that out yesterday on Mashuja Day, which I saw most Kenyans go crazy, especially on Twitter. Some are excited, some are scared. And today, obviously, I'm going to call my best friend and we're going to discuss this because we want to discuss how, as Kenyans, has it affected us negatively or positively? Sister, sister, sister. Yeah. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Yeah. Kafi has been lifted after one year, mm -hmm. seven months. Mm -hmm. That's like almost two years. Yeah. And it's been a very bumpy ride for us Kenyans, considering when we were watching other countries, they already lifted the curfews months ago. Mm -hmm. And a country that usually survives on, you know, um, a country that usually works day and night, and a country that was uh, highly affected by the curfew. This has come as very good news to most of us. But then again, we also... A country that also works with hand to mouth. Actually, that's the, that's, the, that's the one I was looking for earlier. You're, You're lucky you have me. <laughs> I was about to say foot to mouth, and I was like, I'm sure that's not the statement. <laughs> but yeah, a country that lives hand to mouth mm -hmm. is has been very hard for us. And we all know how a lot of people's jobs were, jobs were laid off mm -hmm. and all that. But it's been lifted, and what does that mean for us, Kenyans? Okay, you look at the pros, because I know for sure the cafe being lifted is a plus for you, seeing with the business that you're doing and actually the work employment that you came from yes. affected you first hand, yes. so direct. You being in the hotel industry in Mombasa and Serena, can I mention Serena? Yeah, yeah, it's fine, it's cool, it's cool. And Serena, you know, you know closing down mm -hmm. and what were you to do? And then you decide, oh, let me open Biashara mm -hmm. and bring my products from Pwani. Exactly. Seeing that your shop is Mambo Pwani, mm -hmm. And then now wait, I can't travel at this time, I can't travel at this time, I'm stuck. And there's a time you were like running. You had come from Mombasa, Mombasa. getting your That's stuff. the time coffee was 7 o'clock, can you imagine? Yeah. And I'd left with the morning bus at yes. around 5 in the morning. Yes. And then we got into traffic at Mlolongo for over two hours. Mm -hmm. The cafe was seven o'clock. And if you remember during the first days, there was a lot of police brutality. Like if you've seen outside past five minutes past seven, they used to like whip you all over the place. Mm -hmm. So I was really scared for that. Keep in mind, I had a suitcase, mm -hmm. but I, I actually got to the house at seven on the dot. I oh, did, yeah. I, but it was scary. So no more curfew man it's it's even relaxing for you to say it mentally speaking you mm -hmm. know even when you're out in town and you're mm -hmm. caught with errands and job you look at the mm -hmm. time it's time you start mm -hmm. panicking mm -hmm. and it's, it's not, like you're in boarding school it, it's it's like you're in boarding school <laughs> exactly and okay listen i know for you it comes as a plus yes because of the business you run and yes. all that stuff mm -hmm. but i was thinking about it yesterday i had my friend over and normally tutasema kuja mapema so then I called you, Lisa. Hey, Bona Wendy. Me, that's where you cafe at. Oh, you're talking about. Hey, oh, you had you didn't want to go eight na a shimbal and the Hey, Bono Guava Bado. There is no cafe. So, Nio Nika Juliza Nika Mambe Ebu Kodia. Are you sure it's a good idea just to? It's day one. What about those people who are depressed and hungry and are going to take advantage of the night? There was a lot of speculation about that. Guys were like, guys, remember, even as much as the cafe has been lifted, where's the Pia Wamerudikazi? Yes. Wamajambazi Pia Wamerudikazi? Yes. So, as, yes, I know you're out there looking for your daily bread, yes. but so are they, in as much as it's, it's bad to say that they're looking for the daily bread. Yes. But yeah, yesterday, I, I haven't had any stories yet, but I'm pretty sure security wasn't as tight as much because now no curfew mm -hmm. means. You're not afraid of the cops at this moment. It means you have to be more diligent, if you Absolutely. ask me. Absolutely. Yeah. So, but anyway, schools went back. Mm -hmm. uh, some businesses went back. Mm -hmm. So, curfew, nasikia kuna rumors. 
nightclubs still organizer restrictions Imagine still no one it's, it, it's, no, not, it's not, clear. Clear. not clear yet but but the curfew is clear that it's, it's not that i want to go to a nightclub <laughs> i mean who wants to go to a club, nightclub anymore in 2021 because we've been indoors for one and a half years i don't even think as the first thing people will think of is oh curfew in fact actually mm-hmm. yesterday on twitter yeah. you know what most people were excited about yes. night travel especially the ones who stay in western yes. coast those areas yes. i saw people doing booking buses wow. for night travel because yeah. no one loves traveling by bus during the day yes so that's another thing so that's amazing that no, yeah mm-hmm. this is what i'm thinking mm-hmm. It's falling an advantage to some people mm-hmm. and a disadvantage to some people. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Because when we look back at the one and a half years, mm-hmm. this curfew and lockdown has had an impact. A lot. A lot of impact. Some were actually not impacted at all. They call themselves the introverts. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> they're, they're like, even in Metalewa, ah, no difference. It's, it's okay. It's okay. It's cool. But anyway, so we just want to look at how did the lockdown and the curfew affect you affect us like cause personally <laughs> yeah personally <laughs> speaking as angel yeah as me as you yes i honestly feel i enjoyed the curfew okay especially the up to 10 o'clock mm-hmm. because it kind of disciplined me in things that i was probably doing wrong yeah you know mm-hmm. If you've been following this channel, you you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I found myself at home, and I, I I I I've seen a lot of my daughter even saying a statement like, "I'm so happy nowadays you don't work at night." Wow, that's deep. Very. That's deep, you know. Uh, very very deep. Yeah, because if I had to go out Which to a night she's, club, she's I'm like I'm presence. working. Yes. Yeah. Because even my line of work would allow us to have night shoots and everything. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. Yeah. So. It affected also my industry in terms of film mm-hmm. because especially when you you have night sh- night shoots, mm-hmm. it has to be at night. Duh. So you're forced to be like we're shooting at night, but you're spending on location. Oh my. So for me, I'm thinking I'm not going to go home. I'm a single mommy. Okay, so I have to organize that. I know. My, I didn't come home. Why? Why do you work at night? She can't understand. You know, she's still, yeah. yeah. So, all right. So there's that. Then I saw a lot of, I can count like three couples I've seen mm-hmm. who I know and I care about mm-hmm. who have broken up because of this curfew. I think the provider or the husbands or whatever mm-hmm. brought that I have to be at home at this particular time. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, those who say, ah, I know. And it's not really necessarily they're doing anything wrong. Mm-hmm. Then there are those who are cut out of financial status because they probably need to meet after work clients. Yeah. If, if we're being honest, we can say that this lockdown and curfew has really affected a lot of relationships and marriages. I mean, you, you just said that you know of three couples that have. Yes. Because of the whole COVID-19 lockdown. lockdown. I, I I don't know how, I, I, I can't count how many couples that I know have had issues during this lockdown, but I've, I've seen so many things that have happened the last one and a half years during, especially live alone even the cafe. Do you remember when we had the lockdown, like no leaving our houses? Yeah. It wow. was it was the first three months from the month of April till around July. In fact, on July 1st is when the lockdown was was lifted mm-hmm. and i traveled back to mombasa because i was locked at home with our parents mm-hmm. it was great but anyway my point is <laughs> I, I i i have i've seen couples break up because you're spending all day all night indoors together and i'm not saying that's a bad thing no don't get me wrong it's just that you don't got a teddy bear no, no, no. That's, that's it's not that it's just no, that I know, I know. just think about Being it conf- confined it's actually a confinement because you you cannot go out the cops are out there it was torture it was torture. that's why criminals are put in jail confinement where freedom is it's no longer no yours. longer yours. Yeah. and another thing i've seen people do actually not even let me say people let me just say i've seen two men that i know who have called their girlfriends living living girlfriends at night yeah 
and they're like yo babe i'm sorry i can't come tumeshikwa na makarao waki so i'll just have to sleep at akina so and so's because of curfew people took advantage of the word curfew people took advantage of curfew when in real sense you know because you know you're gonna believe you're like yo uskuje uskuje you know like mm. how many times have you called mom and maybe you're planning to go home and then she's like hey say it's let's you kai tuko mahali uko because mm-hmm. being seen outside was uh, you know something you can't risk mm. So a lot of couples have taken advantage of this curfew in a negative way which I don't know whether now that it's been lifted are they going to now go back and resolve the things what does this mean for the couples that broke up what does this mean because covid is still here with us oh, so yeah. this was my question mm-hmm. when i think about it why now yes it was done appropriately on mashuja day but why yes. now Oh, well elections are in the next six <laughs> months so we have to campaign you you, you know even yesterday the, the, the tweets were full of 10 or 10 <laughs> and i was like you you it's like giving candy to a baby really think about it it is think about the first lockdown it's it used to be 30 days it cause had he said the lockdown is going to be one and a half years mm-hmm. it would have seemed very strange mm-hmm. but, but it was a dose with your time it was you were being given like small doses mm-hmm. small doses cause, so for <laughs> because for every dose you anticipate and say maybe next month atafungua so mm-hmm. you stay 30 days in anticipation mm-hmm. of the mm-hmm. coffee being lifted mm-hmm. it's not lifted and by the time we look back it's almost two years and we we haven't even noticed it's been that long because we learned to live with it see you're saying for you you're feeling like yeah because i feel there are things that are not going to happen for me again because right? one and a half years is a total adjustment it too true, true. People, <laughs> people have met online and married each other <laughs> online oh my they, they had moved in because all we had if you don't have wi-fi you're in trouble <laughs> by the way yeah so i'm not talking on <laughs> on, 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 on no, no no it's fine it's fine it's fine i'm sure there are people who will resonate when they see this okay you but, but know. think about it yeah. even i who has never been on social media i joined you in you did by the way i she, joined in november because of course yeah you joined and how has that been by the way it's been great just that no at least i've been busy Girl. <laughs> see, uh, th- but I'm glad you see you joined everyone did something actually yeah. everyone acquired yes. an achievement they did yes. something and I've been trying yes. to push you to join social media for yeah. like since 2009 yes. and you're like no 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 but you did yeah and here we are mm-hmm. yes so I'm excited mm-hmm. and <clears throat> well it also affected our film industry yeah the lockdowns like i said earlier no shoots we are not allowed to be on a set we are like not less than 50 people yeah because you have the crew and you have the actors you have the catering i know you understand yeah. so there's one production that i will not forget which was an amazing production and i'm not even complaining about it we shot um, late last year in december mm-hmm. and i had night shoots and day scenes and they had to close so the pressure was so hard i have never worked for 20 hours standing really yes and out of 18 scenes i had 14 and so there were physical like, scenes you were running upstairs coming down i slept for two days because of the fatigue and exhaustion yes. yeah so that pressure also coming with work as much as they would give you a card but they'll give you a choice do you want to sleep on set or do you want to <laughs> yeah. get someone to drop you home let me sleep what a kukuche kesho i know right yeah 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 you know you've mentioned your card and i <laughs> have remembered something that's the pass for when the coffee was there right yes so yesterday someone when the coffee was lifted there was a lot of banter going on on twitter a lot of people are actually very <laughs> hilarious very, very very i don't know whether it's creativity it's creativity guys are really creative idol also and plus we've and been pissed idol. off and excited at the same time because now it's been lifted so they're yeah? sharing their genius minds uh, so i there. saw i saw this tweet yesterday of this lady she tweeted and said wale wenye mlikuwa na pass guess what now the whole country has a pass and i was like whoa we were really bitter about people who had a pass yeah oh essential services yeah. pass is it to essential <laughs> and i'm like you know yeah. they, they were let, releasing all that yeah. we were in so much pain i know so I, much misery yeah. but I, we know that there's some people who this is not going to affect them at all cuz 
before curfew after curfew i guess their lives are still the same that those who are excited like myself very much excited because I, i one thing i love night travel and also my business i usually close my shop at seven so at least now maybe i'll be i'll, I'll extend with like two hours you know mm-hmm. who knows mm-hmm. but i know that those who um they, they they are trying to like now reflect mm-hmm. they have lost so much mm-hmm. their marriages have gone down the drain their kids have been taking them away from them their jobs have been lost now i think it's time for them to strategize and think okay what's the next game plan so is this uh lockdown going to cut out what do you think the work from home oh are we still have do we still have those i'm sorry i don't know i do we still have the restrictions in terms of crowd what does this curfew being lifted mean because i think that was our biggest like yeah yeah, yeah the yeah. lockdown i i think i think what you are uh, sorry our president is going to do is he's going to just i think he's going to give continue giving press statements uh, weekly even with uh, the cabinet secretary mm-hmm. i think what's going to happen is first the first thing that was very important was to remove the curfew which has been removed so next i think he's going to address the bars the restaurants so the bars still close at what time i i at 7 pm Okay. Yeah, and then and then I saw another tweet again. You go at 6:30, buy all the alcohol and camp outside there. Who's going to stop you? There's no coffee. And ah! I was like, "What? <laughs> Kenyans are so just creative. Kenyans, no Kenyans. You just have to be in love with your country." Yes. And last night I was on Instagram just going through different clubs Instagram pages and you won't believe. Mm-hmm. There's this club called Bed 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 something. Bed Bed next door or something. Mm-hmm. There were no seats. Wow. They want no seats. Everyone was standing. And sister, everyone was standing. You can imagine. And you know what? What I know about Kenyans, apart from monkey, see monkey do, wanna go younger to be easy. <laughs> to be like right. Keep to, to, it keep it okay. Yeah. Or something to happen so they can give their sentiments. People they, have really packed in with a have, lot of stuff. We have come from far. And the reason it's funny is because it's relatable. It's it's funny because it's true. It's true. Exactly. And you can relate to it. But like you said earlier, we've really come from far. First to 7 p.m. and then 8 and then 9. Then from 9 he went to 11, then jumped back again to 10. So 10 has been the longest time. Okay, but I think it's only fair then everything just opens up because schools went back. Mm-hmm. you know church went back yes and plus uh, and plus i think that another reason he's opened up uh, other than it's election time also <laughs> we are approaching christmas and i don't think he would really want us to have two you know sad christmases because last christmas was just blah. all just happened it was yeah. just you know it, we were still fresh but now this is our second christmas and yeah. i think he wanted us yeah. to like really enjoy yeah. ourselves yeah. you know like we deserve that yeah It's we 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 and it couldn't have come at a better day much you judge you know that they, was so damn intentional and so and so poor it I think it's why it was poetic you know like in the they played for the leader cuz <laughs> I was waiting for Danny Danny to the state house but <laughs> I love that guy I'm sorry I'm sorry but I love him. I do I love his music okay uh, yes I do anyway the last stop the grace we love him then <laughs> yeah, yes yes all right so basi- basically basically in short as we wind up mm-hmm. what do you think do you think things are going to go back to the norm like the normality of who we are as you know either as an individual mm-hmm. or as a country do you feel also it was a blessing in this case to some extent mm-hmm. there's so many things for me i feel i took much for granted mm-hmm. For me it was not for covid i would not have changed my mind perspective my, my i would not have changed a lot so for me there are so many blessings that came with the lockdown with the you know with this whole covid crisis which is still here with yeah, us yeah, yeah. on the same breath as much as we say we lose some and gain some it kind of put us in an equilibrium to matter ujinga kidogo as kids we have grown we've grown mentally into, emotionally and spiritually we have really grown yes trying finding ourselves mm, mm, mm. it Preach. also gave us time to work from home and stay at home <laughs> yeah, i know <laughs> that's what our mother used to tell us and you can be way evil by your kiku your mother just know you've really messed up <laughs> big time okay i was never told that oh wow <laughs> Wow so basically um in short what I'm, i what i think is 
Uh, first, things are not going to go back to normal because for such as COVID is still there. Mm-hmm. Let's please keep that in mind, guys. COVID mm-hmm. is still there and it's still real. Mm-hmm. So we are still going to continue wearing our masks, mm-hmm. practicing social distance, sanitizing, wearing our masks is what is most important because we don't know whether this, COVID, this virus is going to be with us for totally. how long. Totally. And by the look of what I've seen and read, I think it's going to be here for a while. Mm-hmm. So... What we need to be, yeah, the curfew has been lifted because it had to be lifted so that our lives could go back to normal considering we live in a country that lives hand to mouth. Thank you. <laughs> yes, so um, it's just a matter of being careful. Yep. But like you said, um, it also, it was the lockdown and the curfew also impacted some of us positively. Let me speak for myself. I really, really got in touch with uh, my spirituality. I started reading more. I know so much about psychology, astronomy. Really, the other day, mom was telling me, at where was all this energy when I was in high school? I knew that was shit, but I just, I just <laughs> let it slide. But hey, I mean, I'm, I've, I've grown so much as a person. Trust me, I'm not the same person that I was last year. She, she can tell you that for free. Me neither. <laughs> oh my cause are you me neither she the girl has you you actually should be on top of the pyramid you you've actually really changed yeah no like for real like she's real and, and I'm, i mean change positively for the better rather you know people change and become bad person <sighs> so God. i don't right she is. <laughs> so i think it was it, it, it impacted people no, i'm more chilled i'm more chilled you know i'm not my circle of friends is extremely small because it makes sense that way. You you're, you're better you're you've loosened up. Yeah. Cause woof. <laughs> woof. <laughs> she okay. She better you she's really loosened up. She was tight. <laughs> tight. But anyway, I'm glad. Oh, yeah. It's a beautiful scene. Love to see it. Yeah, so this is where we are guys. I mean what I really liked about the COVID was a lot of patriotism that came out. You see, it's just like things that divide us as is, is tribes and politics sorry to say mm-hmm. but you just find when kenyans are watching a football football game if it's kenya playing a, a different country mm-hmm. there isn't yeah so there was that covid thing that brought us together and people are there for each other people were sharing stories mm-hmm. actually if it was not for covid being at home or not i even thought of opening my own youtube channel and Doing discussing media i mean <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. Like, you, I don't think you'd have joined social media because if there was no COVID, no lockdown. You'd be out doing night films and whatnot, whatnot. Yeah, you'd ha- you'd have no time for social media, right? No. But you're in the house all day, all day, and so yeah. you got creative. And now yeah. here we are. Yeah, and here we are. So, guys, at the end of the day, I think let's just still keep vigilant as much yeah. as it's been lifted. Let's mm-hmm. let's not forget what we've learned. Let's not forget what we've learned. Let's not go back to the negative normalities. Let's keep uplifting each other and let's keep learning more from what is dictated to us. Yeah, Shiro? Yeah, and also please, uh, if, if, if this period you, it had time for you to grow as a person, both mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, just because the cafe has been lifted doesn't mean, okay, now I'm done growing. You can still continue on your journey of healing. There's so many people who healed from their past traumas, by the way. I know. So many things happened. So, like, just continue with the same spirit, at the same time being vigilant, because this uh, virus is still here with us, unfortunately, indefinitely. So we just say thank you from this this side this of the world. <laughs> thank you for having me again. You're most welcome. Thanks for being here. You're the coolest. I know. Kwaheri, <laughs> bye bye. God bless you.